Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I don't remember what I was going to say. Good, because it's all the way zoomed in. <laughs> you? Oh! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. On this channel, we like to bring cars back to life, such as this. Our first project is actually a Datsun 260Z. Uh, we've got four future projects coming along. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing so you don't miss any of our future projects. And make sure to drop a like on this video. It really helps out with algorithms, so other people who really like car videos can come and watch this one. On today's episode, Nathan's back. So that he can help me. That's it. That's, uh, that's all he's for. I'm a slave. First on the agenda is pulling that big thing out. So we're just going to hop straight into it. Alright guys, so we finally finished pulling the engine and here's the B-roll for some of that. So the plan is that Nathan's over there uh, learning to weld for the first time, which is pretty cool. He's actually pretty good. So he's going to actually fab up and weld in the passenger side. So that's going to be exciting to, you know, I can help him out and so he can not make the same mistakes that I made. I made plenty of them. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna be cleaning out the engine bay. So let me show you that now. So as you can see, we got the engine out, which is pretty dope. All right guys, so while Nathan's actually working on the floor, fabbing all that stuff up, I'm gonna be working on getting all this stuff out. Everything that's been left over from the engine pull, eventually we're gonna pull this out, we're gonna cut it out. Most of it's surface rust, which is gonna be really good uh, because we don't have to cut anything out. There's a little bad part in the back that hopefully we don't have to cut out, but more than likely will, but it's not that big of a deal. Also, right here, if you want to come down here and look, right here, there's um, that's rusted through. So after all the repairs have been made inside the engine bay, we're going to paint it with Pour 15, which is self-leveling. It'll look good. It's highly durable. And yeah, that's what you have to look forward to. So let's do that. Alright guys, so we actually got a whole bunch of the brake lines and all the different lines out. A um, bunch of tabs, a bunch of wire holders and everything like that. Um, I actually started cleaning this up with some simple green, just getting all this dirt out. I still got a lot more to do. Um, same on this side and then after that, there's a little latching mechanism here that I took off. Here's the under piece of it and then this is the top piece that I was able to wire wheel. Um, I'm sorry the GoPro has been dead for a while, so we've gotten quite a bit done today. It's just been a lot of big things, so not a lot of things to update y'all with. Um, but this goes on the top up here as such, and I wanted to be able to go ahead and get this and this whole area ready to paint, put this back on, painted, and I didn't want to paint this, so I was going to cover all of this up and put it back on because right now it's just kind of hanging here, and I didn't want to have to redo the wire for this. You know, even though I have to redo the rest of the car, but like this is already done, it works, it's great. And I'm gonna clean this up with some simple green, throw some tape on it, put it back on here, paint, wire wheel all this, clean all this up, get that ready. And uh, Nathan's in here 
in this dark, decrepit place. There it is. So Nathan's up here just welding away. He's actually got quite a bit of the floor support done, so he's got the main bar and then the angle iron. He's doing really well in here. Eventually, we'll have to come in here and clean all this stuff up because he wire wheeled a bunch of seam sealer and just likes to go everywhere, but that's for a later date. Yeah, so I'll throw the time lapse on this and you can see what I'm about to do to it. All right guys, so we taped this off, as you can see in the time lapse, and we actually put some rust reformer in there. That way, I don't have to ever worry about anything that's going inside there. Also, we taped up the little mechanism that goes inside. That way, this will be good for when we paint it. I just ordered the paint. It'll be here in a couple of days. Hopefully, hopefully. Cross our fingers. The last thing we're gonna do tonight, because we've been here all day, and Nathan's getting cranky. There's a spot over here, and then the same spot on this side. This side's worse. Um, and we're going to cut those out, little squares, wire wheel around it, so tomorrow I can go ahead and create those pieces and ta you know weld them in, flap disc them, and you're never going to know that they were even there. All right, guys, so we got each side cut out. Now you can see it. Definitely got all the rest there tomorrow morning. When we get back, we'll wire wheel around it and move on to what we need to do for the rest of this, which is clean it all up with a bunch of simple green. You're gonna spend a lot of time cleaning everything up, wire wheeling what we need to in here, making sure it's good, scotch brighting it, and then you know we'll be looking to paint it pretty soon. Uh, on the other hand, Nathan has been working his tail off and has gotten super far and has got the main support bar in with the first angle iron and it's working on the Y piece right now. So it's looking really good. We're happy with how this looks. Uh, he absolutely killed it. And you know, I'm super thankful that he was here to help me out. So with all that being said, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today and I will see y'all tomorrow. All right, guys, we are back the next day. Nathan's over there getting things prepared, cutting angle iron. He's getting all of that ready. For in here, he's going to make all of the cuts for this length, this length, there and there. And so when we do that, we'll be able to tack it all up, send some welds, and then we'll have the support done today. So that'll be good. On my end of things, I uh, picked up a new wire wheel, and I'm going to wire wheel all this little stuff in here. Wire wheel all of that. Down in here, you can't really see it. Clean up around here, and uh, go ahead and measure those up. Make some new squares. Put them in here, tack, 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 tack. We'll be good to go. All right, guys, so as you could see, probably in the time lapse, you couldn't see all of this because it's like covered and the time GoPro's up there. Anyway, all of that basically fell apart when we cut out the old battery box. So the battery's gonna get relocated to the back. Um, we gotta put a fuel cell back there anyway. So why not? We'll just throw it back there. And that leaves more room for, you know, fun things than the engine bay. But basically, I was sitting there working on that for like 30 minutes, trying to get it cut down, trying to get everything grinded down, trying to get to some bare metal. And it was just full of rust and everything like that. So I think I got it down to the point where I can weld to it now. So right now, before the end of the day, because we only have about an hour and then we have to clean this huge mess up. because so we got this and we got this, we got this and we got this. We've got all of that to clean up. And now Nathan's gonna tell you what he's been doing. So first time welding and stuff, 
a little rough if you can't tell, but it went really well. Got the majority of this in. I just got to cut a couple angles so that this corner matches up. Just cut this angle so that this corner will match up. And yeah, just got to attack those in real quick and then this brace is good to go. Alright guys, so we got our three pieces cut out that are going to go in here. Bam. 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 Nice and easy. Uh, they fit pretty well. Got a flap disc a little bit of them and they should tack right in. And we'll be able to weld those up next time. Nathan got all the floor supports tacked in in here. It looks really good. So when he comes back next time, he's gonna fully weld this in and then start working on the top floor nonsense. So this looks really good and he's gonna probably get pretty close to finishing up next time he's here, so that's awesome. What we're gonna do now is clean everything up, which I will spare y'all from seeing. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. Nathan got a bunch done. He'll finish up the floors next time he's back. He's doing a great job. The engine bay looks pretty good, but still got a lot of work to do before we can paint that next time. So be looking forward to that in next week's video. Yeah. Catch y'all later. See, it's a catch. It's a thing now. <laughs> <laughs>